Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at Tiny Cards from Duolingo. It's a relatively new platform for creating and studying with flashcards with a little bit of a quiz element thrown in for good measure. So let's go ahead and get started here. I have it open in my account over here. Let's first take a look at how you use Tiny Cards. We'll use the World Flags demo up here. And you can see here we have a series of lessons that we can work through. Of course, we have, to un we have to finish the first one to unlock the second and subsequent lessons. We can go to the cards directly and just study the cards by flipping them over. Or we and then we can go back to the lessons. And as you can see here, we'll work through the lesson by first looking at this card and clicking to see the answer. Then click continue. We'll look at another card. Click continue. And now we'll be asked a question based on those cards we've just looked at. And now we have a new card introduced. Now we're asked another question. I got that wrong. I'm going to try it again. And we'll go ahead and quit that. Now let's take a look at how you can create your own set of cards in Tiny Cards. So we'll create a set. You can see the one that I've been working on here. Let's go to my home. Let's create a new set. Let's choose a cover. And I'll upload an image. I'll put in a picture of my dog Max as the cover. And you can see here I already have some flashcards loaded. Plus dogs of the world. Now let's add another card to my set that I've already started. One of the neat things about Tiny Cards is that if you don't have an image handy, you can just click on the icon in the upper left-hand corner and do a search for an image. Let's say I need a picture here of a pit bull. Now that image is inserted. Now I can crop that image if I need to. If I want to focus on just a little bit of the face, I can crop it or I can expand it as needed. And drag and reposition. Now I can fill in the name. If I want to add a fact, I can do so as well. Now let's go ahead and publish this. You can see I can make it visible to everyone or only to me. I'll make that available to everyone. Now I'll publish. And you can see there are my five cards and we can flip them over. And a lesson has been automatically created for me based on these cards. And one last question here. And one of the things you'll notice is that if I leave off a letter, 
it recognizes that it's just a typo and not necessarily a spelling error. So that's how you can play the Tiny Cards lessons and create your own Tiny Cards using Duolingo. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechboardteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.